fall has officially arrived and so have the winter squash. They've been making their debut at the farmer's markets and in the stores. Today I have a little orange squash that's called an orange kabocha. And this little squash looks like a pumpkin. It looks like a squat little pumpkin. Beautiful, bright orange. And in the past, I have bought the same kind of squash, kabocha squash, but it's green. And this year I discovered the orange ones. I almost passed it up because I thought it was a pumpkin, but then I looked closer and it was labeled kabocha. So I brought it home and it has a really hard skin. So after I washed it, I wrapped it really loosely in foil and put it in a 375 degree oven just for 15 minutes, maybe 15 to 20 minutes, just enough for the skin to soften up a little to make it easier to get that knife through because otherwise it can be a pretty dangerous proposition. So I've done that part. I've taken it out of the foil and now I'm ready to cut it. So the first thing I'm going to do is just cut it in half. Once you've cut your squash in half, you can just scoop out the seeds. And one thing you'll notice right away is that the kabocha is not stringy at all like a pumpkin. So that's your first clue that this is not a pumpkin. And the other thing is that you will discover that this is the sweetest squash you've ever tasted. I can't believe it. In fact, I talked to someone recently who had purchased one of these mistakenly because she thought it was a pumpkin. And she took it home because she wanted to make a pumpkin pie. So she made the pie and she said it was the best pie she'd ever made. So she'll never go back to using pumpkin for pumpkin pies. Once I've got all the seeds scooped out, then I cut it into wedges, put it on a baking sheet that I've lined with parchment, and I've got my oven up to 400 degrees. And I brush it with some oil. Just use an oil that will really tolerate high heat. I've got avocado oil here. And then just pop it into the oven for 30 to 40 minutes until it's nice and soft. You will just find this kabocha, orange kabocha squash, irresistible. I hope you'll give it a try. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.